my beauties big sister channel i am currently rocking a full face of the best products that launched in 2018. I started off with nothing on my face and this is the final result of products that I am absolutely loving and have loved all throughout this year. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let's get into the tutorial. Gosh, I need some makeup on my face. First thing is this, the iconic Prep Set Glow Spray. I love this bronzy one and pop in this over the skin just to prep it so that all my makeup applies beautifully over it and then I like to finish my makeup with that product as well. It's really nice and glowy and dewy, gives you a bit of a bronze finish, smells really nice and it just like kind of picks you up as well. So love that. The primer, this one, so the Hourglass Val Mineral Primer is so good like it just kind of airbrushes your skin when i first tried it i was a bit unsure because as you can see it comes out like white so i was a bit like hmm but once you kind of warm it up in your fingertips and then put it on the skin it literally makes your skin feel so so baby soft i mean i love all of the hourglass and val products but this primer is just so 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 beautiful I think I've talked about this product like a million and one times but the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter is probably my number one launch for this year because it is the product that I use basically every day it makes your skin look luminous and glowy I love it underneath makeup but I love it on its own as well like when I'm just like working from home I love to just put this product on my skin I've got the shade number four medium and oh, I just can't recommend it enough I think it's perfect for everybody of all ages and no matter what kind of finish you want because you can have it on its own you can have it underneath your foundation so i'm popping this underneath my foundation but i get sent a lot of makeup so i don't really need to buy makeup but this is a product that i will rebuy and rebuy because it is absolutely worth the coin i'm hoping that i can pick one up in the boxy day so i'm hoping that charlotte tilbury might be generous and do a little discount can you see that i don't really need anything on top because that just gives me the ultimate oh, dewy base if i do wear this on its own then i do like to just massify like these areas i love that she called this flawless filter because it really does give like a filter to your skin. Now I'm going over the top with my foundation. So this is the YSL Touche Clat All in One Glow. Now, disclaimer, I do love this foundation so much. Foundation that I go, you I mean you can see how much I've used it. It's got all the gold packaging is rubbing off, but this is definitely a foundation that I reach for so much if I'm just doing like day-to-day -day jobs, if I'm running errands, if I just want a really quick base then I use this. My all-time favourite, as you guys probably know if you watch my videos, is the Touche Eclat Le Tank. That's my all-time favourite, but this is definitely my runner-up. And obviously the Touche Eclat Le Tank didn't launch this year, whereas this one is new for this year. So I thought I would pick this as my top foundation because it is one that I go to time and time again. It's strange because with this product, even though it's called All-in-One Glow, I do find the Le Tank glowier so i find this a little bit more matte but with the flawless filter underneath it just gives it that really gorgeous glow um so i'm just taking my beauty blender popping that on the skin the shade what shade have i got i think that's rubbed off as well i don't know guys i don't know what shade this is as i say it is kind of all about the prep of this product because if you just put it on your skin without primer without spray i feel like you don't get the benefits from it that's how you get it to it's like maximum potential and you can see it is really really glowy now what's really nice about this foundation is that you can kind of use it how you want it so you can use a really light coverage for quite a sheer base and um, like on top of your primer or you can layer it on like i'm doing with a beauty blender to get more of a full coverage so that's my base now for my concealer this is so Good. The Barry M All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer. This is my second tube that I've gone through. I think the one I used before was probably a bit too light. This one is called Cookie. It's number three. 
The coverage with this is amazing. I've put this on so many different people whose makeup I've done, like older people as well. And it just sets into the skin really, really beautifully. So just popping that underneath. What I love about this concealer is that it brightens so much. Like I really don't like concealers that don't really make a difference. I mean, the whole point is to brighten your under eyes and this concealer definitely does that and it's nice and lightweight and dewy as well. Guys, who is watching my vlogmas? I'm really, really trying. It is hard uploading every single day, but I really, really hope you guys are enjoying it. If you haven't seen them, make sure you go over and check them out. Again, just using my sponge as I do with most things to blend that in. Like, can you just see how flawless it looks? But with concealer, you don't really need to go to high end because there's so many good drugstore ones. Now for setting my under eyes, I have used this so much. The Rodeal um, Insta Glam Compact Deluxe Banana Powder. I think this is my second one that I've gone through. Um, but this is a beautiful, really gorgeous, silky pressed powder. And I like to put this underneath my eyes because it's that banana shade it's so good as you can see for mattifying but also not making it too white i hate when you get really white under eyes and but with this it's such a beautiful powder that it sets everything in place like all the shine that you don't want it is quite a pricey powder but i definitely feel like it's worth it and the packaging is beautiful for this so I'm just setting those areas where I don't want the shine. Now I've set that, I wanna add the glow back into my skin. I can see glitter on my face from the Christmas decorations, which is so annoying. But this was, oh my God, such a good launch for this year. The Laura Mercier Setting Powder. This is the Translucent Glow. Love, love, love this product. It makes your skin look so gorgeous. And if you don't like wearing a highlighter, if you don't have time to highlight your skin, then this is just amazing. In the areas where I want to add the glow. So it's not necessarily like a highlight. It is a powder that sets your makeup. So I'm just putting that all over the areas where I didn't put my pressed powder. I hope that is picking up on camera. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite launches of this year i've always loved the laura mercier setting powder so the fact that you've now got the glow it adds so much luminosity to the skin oh it's gorgeous for my bronzers i did struggle with this one and i kind of looked at my collection and was like well what one have i actually used the most and genuinely it is this this is new for this year um the nip and fab bronzer palette they're really 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 good powders the quality of nip and fab is amazing you can probably see i have used this palette quite a bit this shade and this shade is amazing and you've also got two highlighters in there as well my day to day i reach for hula i reach for dallas but for a new launch this is definitely a really good one they are one of the best drugstore makeup brands out there so i use this shade for like warming up the skin buffing that in and then I take this more cool toned bronze and use that to gently contour my skin. They are such beautiful powders and the fact you get four in the palette and they're so reasonable is a joke. <laughs> For my blush, I cannot tell you how much I have been loving this blush from the Jennifer Lopez collection with Inglot. This shade right here is amazing. It's pretty much a dupe for the Pillow Talk blush. I don't think I can get this out, um, but I'm gonna pop the link below so you can know the shade. But it's just the most beautiful dusky rose shade. I don't normally wear blush that much, so for me this is like the perfect shade to just add a bit of warmth to the face without it being like too much. Nice you know, like kind of English rose shade. I love the formulation of it. I love the texture it gives to the skin. I just love everything about it, basically. Now for my highlight, I might surprise you all, but I think one of the best launches of this year has been the boutique range at Sainsbury's. Like supermarket makeup, this is actually amazing. I think it's like two pounds and it's their illuminating drops. The texture of these is really, really beautiful. I don't really like the packaging that much. As you can see, it's a little bit messy with the drop applicator that doesn't work too well but the actual product itself 
is really, really nice. It blends out beautifully. And if you want to maybe like try a highlight, but you don't want to spend loads of money, this is a really, really good formula. So the only thing is it's a little bit messy, but on the skin, oh, it blends out like a dream. I really don't like highlighters that kind of drag your makeup and this doesn't at all. It sits on top and like blends in as you pat it into the skin. Obviously you can use this with your fingers if you want to, but I like to just use that with my sponge. Look at it, it's actually amazing. Did not think that this was a supermarket brand. Literally love it. <gasps> Guys, look, it's amazing. Now to set that, I mean, it's not technically new, but this one is. It's the Becca um, Shimmery Skin Perfector in Opal, and this was the limited edition one for this year. They still have got this on the Cult Beauty website, and it's the beautiful Opal highlighter with the Breast Cancer Awareness ribbon um, embossed into the packaging, but this honestly is like the best highlighter ever. It's so pigmented, it just makes your skin glow so i'm gonna pop that on top like honestly it's so so pigmented if you want to get a highlight and you want your highlight to show up when your camera flashes you want to be glowing for the gods and this is the highlighter to get love the packaging of it and just that glow so that's with just the cream on i really like this for like during the day but then if i really want to amp it up and really get my glow on then this is such a beautiful highlighter and now let's go on to my eyes definitely need to do my eyebrows as they're non-existent the best launch for 2018 for me was the benefit brow contour pro i think this is such a genius invention it's such a good idea and it makes doing your eyebrows so much easier because you've just got everything all in one so you've got the deeper shade here you just pop that down and you get the product there you've then got a lighter shade you can pop that down um, and then you've got the the definition and also the highlighter as well so i just think this was a really really good invention i really like the product as well it's quite a precise pencil so you can really get quite a precise look if that's what you like which i do so i just take this lighter shade right here and I like quite, not a thin eyebrow, but I just like more of a precise eyebrow than um, big and bushy. So this is the lighter shade that I'm using on the inner corner of my brow. It's just really, really easy to use. Like, it doesn't take me long to do my brows at all. I actually got hate for my eyebrows the other day on a video. Someone was like, yeah, I really don't like your eyebrow. So I don't know if there's one of my eyebrows that is offending them or both. But yeah, I haven't got great eyebrows and they are not symmetrical. So I know they're not great. But what can you do? You've got to work with what God gave you. So I now just use that deeper shade to do the towel end of my brow. Then you can take the definer. I don't really use the highlighter, but I do like to use this definer just to go around the brow. So there we go, the before and the after. Really, really love this brow pencil. Now eyeshadows. How do you even decide what your favorite eyeshadow palette of the year has been? I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorites that I've been loving this year. So the iconic London eyeshadow palette. This is a really, really good palette if you want a lot of choice in the nude spectrum. It's a palette of such wearable shades, beautiful shimmers in there. Really like these kind of corally colors and the gold shimmers are amazing. So that's really good value for all of them shades in that palette. Again, Nip and Fab absolutely kill it with their powders, their face powders, and also their eyeshadows as well. So this is a palette that I have absolutely loved this year and it is the Fired Up palette. As you can see, this is a shade that I've gone to time and time again. Really, really good quality, amazing selection of colors. I don't really use these purples down here for me. They're a little bit random, but the rest of the palette is gorgeous. Very much reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Heat eyeshadow color um, selection. 
So yeah, this is a palette that I love. Also, the Zoeva Cafe palette. I've recently just dipped back into this palette and I really love the shade selection in this one. It's really, really gorgeous shades and this kind of metallic shade here is a shade that I love. It's a gorgeous, warm, bronzy shade. And then this was also my first year trying Dior. This is the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in Warm Neutrals really really love this gorgeous palette it's a beautiful size love that you've got a primer in here as well and these shades are just stunning they blend out absolutely beautifully and again the shade selection is amazing this shade in the middle right there that rose goldy shimmer is just beautiful and this shade all over the eye is stunning so i don't really know what palette to choose and um, maybe i'll go in for the should i go for the dior let's go for the dior if you do want me to use one of the palettes in another tutorial then do let me know in the comments but yeah this shade all over the eye this warm shade which is called um okra oh, love just gonna pop that on love an ambery coppery warm eye i think so many of us do but this is just like my go-to eye. So easy, such a gorgeous colour. And then I also love to take this underneath the eye as well. Now that shade is on, I'm just going to show you this beautiful metallic -y colour. Oh, look at it. It's so gorgeous. And this is just such a quick eye look. This has took me like a couple of minutes. I have definitely used this palette to death and I will carry on doing so in 2019. Oh, that's weird to say, isn't it? 2019. What I've also loved to do this year is get my highlight and just pop that, like going downwards on the inner corner. It just gives it a really nice little spotlight glow to the eye and it really opens it up. So yeah, I love that there. Kind of ties the whole look together as well and then just popping a little bit my brow bone as well i feel like i am glowing right now best mascara of the year can we have a drum roll please dun, dun, dun. the nyx worth the hype mascara my number one launch of mascaras this year there has been a lot of mascara launches this year like i said with concealers before i feel the same about mascaras i don't feel like you need to spend a lot of money on mascaras i feel like you can get really really good drugstore ones the nyx worth the hype is so worth the hype i love everything about this mascara i love the wand i love the formula it builds up lashes, you've got length, you've got volume. Yeah, I just love everything about this one. I think this is probably like my third tube of this this year. I did do a video testing out this mascara when it first launched and I done like a battle of the new mascaras and in the comments like you guys were like, yeah, the next one is the best. So you all agreed with me. It's really nice because it doesn't clump at all and you can really, really build up your lashes we are reaching serious height with my lashes right now how did i just manage that what is wrong with me i am just the clumsiest person ever but then actually when i say that i'm not really the clumsiest because i think the sunny is clumsier than me I got in last night and he managed to smash a bauble off the christmas train <laughs> we've survived it and then last but not least we have the lips so my favorite lip launch i probably need to sharpen this definitely need to sharpen this one sec <laughs> okay we're back the bobby brown art stick this is in the shade bare as you can see it is fully run down it needs to be sharpened what's great about these as well is you get this jumbo sized pencil sharpener in the kit as well this is a product i haven't had on my lips since it launched in summer i love these chubby pencils so much i have so many different shades but oh my gosh it's really good for accentuating your lips you can kind of do your lip line and then you can fill it in to me it's just like my perfect go-to nude shade it's really really warm it's that rich creamy nude makes your lips look bigger it's a beautiful texture i can't even tell you it's so 
creamy it's not dry at all but you have got that matte finish which i really really like i love the color i love the texture i love the packaging i love everything about this lip product this for me is a hundred percent my favorite lip launch of the year and trust me there has been so many lip launches but this is just perfect when i wear this so many people ask me what i've got on my lips it's a really gorgeous comfortable formula as you can see you've got a little bit of shine there but it's not glossy it's not matte it's kind of in the middle it's really easy to apply because you've got the chunky pencil so i can just pop this on without even looking I just oh i love this product i hope they never discontinue it because it is amazing and then to top it off it actually was my first year being introduced to nude by nature and these lip glosses have been oh my gosh such a gorgeous launch for me the moisture infusion lip gloss and this is the shade blush babe which has been my ultimate favorite these are so nourishing on the lips i really don't like a sticky lip gloss and this is the most buttery soft really just comfortable to wear gloss and this shade is just amazing so i love these kind of team together of the scent of this i love that they're also cruelty free also found this quite long wearing as well it's nourishing i just love it so much as you can tell but i do just want to say my runner up where are you for lip gloss would have to be this one boutique by sainsbury's lip plumping hydrating gloss i don't find that it lasts as long but i love the formula of this i put this on my friend at the weekend and she's fallen in love with it she's gone and picked one up they're really nice juicy lip glosses that are really buttery on the lips they don't feel like you've got a sticky lip gloss on at all i don't feel like they last as long as the nude by nature ones but i do really like them and of course they are so cheap my ultimate red lip Back to Bobbi Brown, I feel like Bobbi Brown kill it with lip products. And this is the Lux Liquid Lip Velvet Matte in Starlet Scarlet. I love this red lip so, so much. I think I popped this in my video a couple of weeks back, so I'll link it up here um, if you do wanna go and check that out. But the matte texture on this is very velvety, so it's quite comfortable to wear. And just the pigment of this red lip is so incredible. When I wore this on QVC, so many people in the studios asked me what I was wearing and they're going out to grab one because it's just like a red you've never seen before. And then of course, I'm finishing with my Prep Set Glow drowning my skin in that to give me that ultimate glow to my skin like it just feels beautiful it gives you that kind of boost sets your makeup in place and yeah i am glowing <laughs> so guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i really enjoyed filming this this is my ultimate product of 2018 that i've launched this year this is my full face of products that i love and will be taking with me into 2019 if there are any products that you have loved in 2018 that did launch this year that i need in my life then comment down below and let me know make sure you tune into my vlogmas videos i am working my butt off to make sure that i upload every day so please head over and do watch them and i will see you in my next video bye